This clip is brought to you by Merrick Health, the premium telehealth network from Derek Moore Plates More Dates. Get your blood work and hormone optimization done under the same roof. Enjoy this clip. How'd you get yourself into this mess? All this <laughs> stretching and flexibility stuff. <laughs> yeah, so, um, yeah, I thought I was going to be an actor. So um, all of my focus was in acting and getting better at that. So I ended up in dance classes just to gain a better control of my body. And... Um, Basically, what happened with that was... Um, Do you have good dance moves? I wouldn't say that. Um, <laughs> I would say I'm pretty coordinated, but not the best dancer, no. But um, basically, I ended up in, in Pilates, and um, I showed up to a teacher trainer program and um, didn't even know what a Pilates was. And if you know what Pilates is, that's kind of a funny joke there. But um, I just stayed in, and it was like a two-year program, um, I outlasted like a lot of the people that I went in there for. Pause, rewind. Does Pilat have a definition or is that just no, a Pilates joke? Okay. It's, it's a jo well, Pilates is a last name. So um, Joseph Pilates is the guy who made Pilates. He, I didn't know that. Yeah, he was, um, he was a prisoner of war. Um, he, he fled Germany from um, the Third Reich. So yeah, pretty intense. Wow. He, yeah, he basically made Pilates in... Um, in uh, he was basically a prisoner of war and he was rehabilitating soldiers. So you'll see some of those equipment like, uh, like reformers, Cadillacs, uh, one to chairs, like all this sort of stuff. The original stuff, the Cadillac and the reformer were literally a hospital bed that he just attached springs to. And he used that Damn. to, um, rehabilitate soldiers. So, um, cause the original Pilates system of movement was just on the floor with your body. Huh. Um, so yeah, that's basically what that is. Cool. Okay. Yeah. And so you're doing Pilates for a while and you got pretty proficient at that, I'd imagine. Yeah. So I, I stayed the whole way. I got comprehensively certified, um, but I didn't like being boxed in by a philosophy that's just so specific. Like it, I, that's why my, my username is movement by David. It's not Pilates by David. Cause I, I don't want to be just contained by, by one specific philosophy. And, um, the, the biggest thing that interested me was the flexibility that I was gaining and I wasn't even really training flexibility per se and I was gaining flexibility. So, um, after leaving Pilates, I just got really, really into flexibility and I was researching it and I ended up reading probably most of the studies out there on flexibility. I've probably read them. Um, I got really, really into it. So, uh, from then on, I started mostly uh, microdosing flexibility. So Corey Schlesinger, that's his mm -hmm. term. Mm -hmm. Love that guy. But um, I, I, I was really into just doing it whenever I could, however I could, and in the smallest amounts that I possibly could. So that, that's how I started with flexibility. And I, I got really flexible doing that. So I was like, okay, what's going to happen if I if I actually train flexibility. So I started actually training flexibility and what do you know, doing all the splits and all that fun stuff. Was it solving problems for you? Like, were you in pain and it helped you get out of pain? Uh, were you unhealthy in any other way or, or was this just like something that you explored and then you just really enjoyed the actual movement? So in high school, I couldn't even really touch my toes. Somebody asked me to like tie my shoes without bending my knees as a prank. And I couldn't even do it. So I was like kind of embarrassed over that. So I was like, okay, well, I might as well start stretching a little bit. And um, that's kind of what sparked that. And obviously through my journey in Pilates and all that, that's, I was like, how far can I take this? How far can my body go? And it just kept getting more and more and more. And I achieved the middle splits. And then I was like, wow, okay, this is crazy. How long did that take? Yeah. So for me with inconsistent stretching, um, it took me... Phew, I, probably a year and a half, but that was with really, really inconsistent stretching. Like months were taken off and mm -hmm. then I was back into it, like really, really hardcore. And then maybe I'd stretch like once a week and then I'd get back into it. So I, th I think it's reasonable that you could probably achieve your middle splits within six months for the average person. I think that's possible. Really? Yeah. Hey guys, if you like this clip, go ahead and comment down below and let us know what you liked about it. All right. Share this with a friend. Make sure to subscribe to the channel. And also we are on Reddit and Discord. All that's down below. All our sponsors and everyone that supports us, down below there too, so you can get whatever you like from us. All right? Peace.